in this video, I am praying for God to give you the power to give wealth. If you want to prosper and to receive a special anointing to be successful, then I would ask you to stay with me all the way to the end of this video because I'm praying for the Lord to bless you financially. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son Jesus, today I am praying with my brother and my sister, and I'm asking that you bless the work of their hands. Father God, I'm praying that you give them the power to get wealth. Your word declares in Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18, And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it's He who gives you the power to get wealth, that He may establish His covenant which He swore to your fathers, as it is this day. So, Father God, I'm praying according to this word, and I'm asking you that you bless them. I pray that you give them the ability to produce wealth. I pray, Father God, that you open a door. I pray that you give them ideas, creative ideas to prosper, creative ideas to increase. I pray that you open new doors. I pray that you give them uh, ideas for new streams of income. I pray for provision, promotions, for raises, for bonuses. I pray, Father God, that you bless them. Also, I declare uh, Psalms 90, verse 17. Your word says, May the favor of our God rest on us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Father, I'm praying and asking that you release a special anointing, a mantle, Lord God, for this man and this woman to prosper. I pray if there's any cycle of failure, I'm praying, Lord God, if there's any cycle, any uh, curse of failure in the workplace, in their finances, anything that hinders them to prosper and to increase. I ask you that you deliver them. I pray that you set them free. I pray, Father God, that everything that stands on their way, hindering them to prosper and to increase, that you deliver, that you set them free for such a time as this. Father God, I ask you, open the windows of heaven according to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 12. Your word declares, the Lord will open the heavens, the storehouse of his bounty, to send rain on your land in season and to bless all the work of your hands. You will lend to many nations, but will not borrow from them. So, Father, I pray that you prosper them in such a way that they'll be able to give, they'll be able to lend, they'll be able, Father God, to be a blessing to those around them. I pray that you bless all the work of their hands. I pray for strength to work. I pray for health. I pray, Father God, for ideas. I pray in Jesus' mighty name for the ability to produce wealth and to be successful at everything that they do. Father, I pray, let this man, this woman work as they are working unto you. Let them prosper, flourish, grow in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I ask you that you protect them. I pray that you keep them safe. I pray, Father God, that you deliver them from any type of envy, jealousy, witchcraft. I pray that you deliver them from evil people. I pray that you deliver them from evil snares of the enemy. I pray, open a door and make a way for this man and this woman to prosper and to be the head and not the tail, to be above and not beneath. I bless each one of them in your precious mighty name. Amen and amen. Today, I am praying for God to give you divine ideas to succeed and to prosper in all you do. Pray with me 
all the way to the end of this video because I'm praying, asking God to give you ideas, to show you the way, to give you clarity concerning your future and your destiny. Amen. Let us pray. Let's call upon his name. Heavenly Father, in the name of your son Jesus, today I am praying for my brother and my sister, and I'm asking Lord God specifically for divine ideas, ideas that will confirm their calling, ideas, Father God, that will open new doors of opportunity for each one of them. Father God, I am praying for every one of them. I know that I am praying with people that are in need of direction. Some of them, Father God, they feel they're so lost concerning their calling, their destiny, concerning their career, business. And so, Father God, I'm praying that you begin to visit my brother and my sister. Lord God, even in the middle of the night, through dreams and visions, confirming your word, I'm praying, Father God, that you give them divine ideas that will change their situation. And I stand in your word according to Psalms 119 verse 105. Your word declares that your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And so I pray for direction. I pray for clarity concerning their destiny and their career. I pray, Father God, that you bless them, that you open new doors of opportunity. I pray that every door that needs to be opened for my brother and my sister to prosper. I pray, Father God, that you open those doors and that you give them ideas that will position this man and this woman in the right direction. Heavenly Father, give them clear direction. I'm praying that my brother and my sister will be able to receive clear revelation and ideas concerning the way that they're supposed to walk in. Father, I pray also that you give them divine ideas that will bring multiple streams of income. I know that I'm praying with people who are struggling financially. They are in need, Lord God, of a financial miracle, a financial breakthrough. And I pray, Father God, that you give them ideas how to start their own business. I pray that you give them ideas how, Lord God, to generate, uh, Lord God, multiple streams of income to change their current situation. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Also, Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that you prosper, that you open doors of favor and abundance. I pray, Father God, that you give them ideas to start new business that you bless them with a small home business, an internet business. Father God, open a door, open their eyes, let them see doors of opportunity in your precious mighty name. Father, I pray also that you connect them with influential people, people that will be a blessing to them, people that will inspire them to grow and to go to the next level. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord God, I pray. Also, I pray, Father God, that you give them ideas to break free, Lord God, from limitations. Father God, I know that I'm praying with people that they are bound by limitations. Father God, they feel that they cannot grow. They feel that they are stuck. I pray, break everything that keep this man and this woman in bondage, Lord God, with a poverty mindset. Some of them, they cannot see themselves changing. They cannot see themselves out of the situation. And so I pray for a strong anointing to remove, Lord God, the shackles, to remove every invisible chain that keep them in bondage. I pray, break this thing off them, Lord God. The spirit of procrastination, the spirit of laziness, the spirit that keep them in bondage to their past, the spirit that keep them in bondage to poverty and lack, set them free, give them vision, give them, Lord God, the clarity concerning their future, Lord God. I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Also, Lord God, I ask you that you empower them, empower them to go to the next level, empower them, Lord God, to walk in victory, empower them, Lord God, to change 
in Jesus name also Lord God I pray for faith to stir up inside of them I pray even Lord God during this time of prayer that faith will ignite a new passion a new desire for greatness inside of them also Lord God I pray that you set them free Lord God from every spirit Lord God of poverty that keep them in bondage even in their bloodline some of them they grew up Lord God in poverty all they know their entire life is poverty and they're bound up, Lord God, by a spirit of poverty, a mindset of poverty, and they cannot see nothing good. I pray, deliver them, break this thing from them, Lord God, and give them a mindset of a winner in Jesus' mighty name. Also, Father God, I pray that you give them, Lord God, a special anointing to set them apart from their peers, that they'll be different, that they will, Lord God, receive skills and ideas from you, Father God, to be different from their peers. In Jesus' name, Father God, I bless my brother and my sister with ideas that will change their lives forever, not only for divine ideas, but I pray that you empower them to put into practice the things that they receive, Lord God. I ask you, give them ideas, but also the power to put into practice those ideas. In Jesus' mighty name, I bless each one of them, and I ask you, Father God, bless them, empower them, give them, Lord God, ideas that will change not only their lives, but will change their bloodline, will change, Lord God, the history of their families, will change their environment, will change everything around them. In Jesus' mighty name, I bless them with ideas, I bless them with clarity, I bless them with vision, and I ask you, Father God, let your mighty name be glorified in the life of my brother and my sister, Amen and amen. Praise the Lord, my brother and my sister. Just repeat this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for divine ideas. Say, Lord Jesus, I receive by faith ideas from heaven to prosper, to increase, to change for the glory of your name. Say, Lord Jesus, touch my mind. I let it go. Doubt, confusion, fear, and everything that hinders me to receive ideas from heaven. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. I receive by faith in your precious name. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. My brother, my sister, it has been a great honor and a great joy to pray and to stand with you again. I know that God is doing something awesome in your life. Amen. If you are blessed by this prayer, please like this video, share with your friends and family, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you in the next video. God bless you. Have a great day and bye for now.